Hello everyone, welcome to another PayPal video tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I will show you how to increase limits on PayPal and remove sending, receiving and withdrawal limits. Now, as you can see, if I go here to my account and if I go to profile or actually account settings, I can go here and I can go here to limits. Here you can see your limits, so we, we can view the limits. As you can see, my limits for my account, balance limit, I don't have a limit, receiving limit, I don't have a limit, sending limit, I also don't have a limit. However, for withdrawal limit, I can go up to 43,000 or almost $44,000, which is great. You also have per transactions, almost $60,000 which is also great. So uh, I can obviously go here and lift limits. So I can click lift limits. And then as you can see, I will have to go and I'll have to link a US bank account. So basically, the more you want to lift the limits or increase limits on PayPal, the more information you will have to give to PayPal, you will have to give your bank account details, you'll have to basically go and give you know, your ID and basically what you need to do is you need to become a verified uh, PayPal merchant or a verified PayPal, um, you know, account owner and then you will be able to go and increase limits on your PayPal. Now, this is the best way to do it. Just go here and just go to, uh, you know, lift limits when you go to your account settings. Obviously, as you can see, if you have a verified PayPal account, there's no limit on the total amount of money you can send. You can send up to $60,000 in a single transaction, but they might limit that amount to $10,000 because, you know, they're PayPal. So, uh, you know, anything can happen with PayPal. So, um, obviously, I would not recommend using PayPal for, uh, you know, larger sums of money because they can freeze that money. But if you want, you can do this and you can uh, become verified on PayPal, right? And then you will be able to increase limits on PayPal pretty, pretty easily. You can also uh, go and, uh, you know, just go here and you can go and to contact and then you can contact their support as well, uh, which is also a great way if you want to go and, uh, you know, if you want to have message center right here and then you will be able to go and also call them as well, which is great alternative to support, to their support. So that's pretty much how to do it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.